And I'm Pastor Suzanne Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. If you don't have a church, you could come. It's a church you can call home. Amen. Amen. Where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you joining us by audio or video. Amen. Yes. Okay. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. We always say this, you know, be hungry and be thirsty for more of Him Amen. on a daily basis. Amen. Daily, daily, daily. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct you. And we're going to be talking about this. Growing and going for Jesus daily. On a daily basis, amen. We're going to grow. It means we're going to mature. I'm going to, I'm going to get into that in a few more minutes. But you don't want to leave as you came. You want to leave change. That's He's it. got finished with you. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. Amen. And He wants to use you. So yes. don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Right. Not only that, as a child of God, you want to make yourself available for Him to use you. Mm -hmm. Don't exclude yourself. Know that He, you're special because you're still here. Amen. Amen. And you're part of, part of his body. And we're going to be talking about all this in a few minutes. But you're in God's winning team. Amen. Yes. You're a winner. Quit calling yourself a loser. Quit calling yourself anything else that the word of God doesn't say. Line up with what the word of God says and confess yes. those things over yourself. Amen. Woo. We magnify problems. We magnify our problems more than we magnify our God. Mm. And he loves us so much. You know, he knows every fault about us. Mm. He knows every problem about us. But he loves us the most. Amen. And he loved us so Amen. much. He came and he was sacrificed for us. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> so prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. And he's got something for you. I said, I ain't going to let you go until you, I get what, what I want. And you know yes. what you got for me. Amen. So Amen. let's make this declaration together. Grab your sword. Grab your Bible. Yes. Soldier of God. Amen. Thank and say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. Here we go. This, this is my Bible. Bible. I hear what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to share uh, something with you. We're going to be talking about this, but it's about smiles. Put on a smile on a daily basis. It says, smile can open the door faster than a key can open the door. Uh -huh. Amen. Smiles are free. Give them out. Amen. <laughs> Some of us really need to smile. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Give your frown a break. Amen. <laughs> so don't save them while I'm saving them for whatever. No. Uh -huh. Smile now. Amen. Smile. It will brighten the world. Brighten the world with your smile. Uh -huh. Amen. Give your smile to somebody. You know, it's yes. free. Amen. And you know, it's going to open that door. Anything that, you know, it's going to open it for you. So smile more. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm excited all about you. Amen. Hallelujah. Here's another one I got for you. It's another nugget. God isn't looking for abilities, He's looking for availabilities. Are you making yourself available for Him? Mm -hmm. We say, well, God never uses me. Mm -hmm. But you're not making yourself available. Mm -hmm. Be available for God to use you. Amen? Yeah. He wants to use you. He didn't put you here just to put you by the wayside. Yeah. No, he put you here because he's got a call on your life. If nobody ever told you that, you need to know. you got a call on your life. Amen? And some of us yeah. start early. Some of us may just now be starting. But still, it's never too late. Say, Lord. You call me and I'm here. I'm available. Use me. And guess what he's going to do? He says, okay, let's get busy. Amen. Get busy for God. Amen. Quit holding back. He says, God's not, God doesn't call the qualified. He's, he qualifies the call. And he's anointed you to do whatever it is you're to do. Yeah. But you got to see yourself the way he sees you. You got to see yourself a winner. You got to see yourself a champion. You got to see yourself as an overcomer. You need to let go of the past and start pressing on right now on a daily basis. Stepping out of faith. Amen. Getting the word in you and pressing on with him. Woo. Man, yeah. that's a mouthful right there, man. We, can, yeah. we have church already. We can go home. <laughs> Woo. Praise God. So Amen. get yourselves ready in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. We want to invite you to Bible, uh, Bible study. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been having a great Bible study. And we've been talking about... Uh, 
who we are in Christ. Yes. You never know who you are until you get into the Word of God. Yes, well, yes. God never talks to me. Well, you never pick up your Bible. Yeah. You got to pick it up and open it yes. and read it. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you get the Word in you, yes. amen, yes. it's going to give you faith. It's going to give you authority to speak to those things that have been running over you. Yeah. And you're going to say, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he's going to flee from you. Wow. When you get the Word in you, it's going to come out. And then yes. when it comes out, that is authority. Amen. And the devil, he doesn't like the spoken word. Amen. He, he can just, he don't care if you got 10 Bibles sitting at the house. You ain't open none of them. And you ain't got none of that word in you. But when you get it in you, it, when you get filled, the overflowing, it's going to come out. And when it comes out, the enemy is going to flee. But if you're not, you know, he's, he's a defeated foe, but he's not going anywhere unless you take that authority and start confessing his word amen, amen. speaking his word let it out yep. Woo, hallelujah so grow go for God. jesus daily start every day the bible tells us in psalms 1 118 24 he says <laughs> this is the day the lord has made amen. says i depend what translation you use but i will rejoice and be glad in it amen yep. so you start every day rejoicing, being glad, happy, motivated, mm -hmm. stirred up, and ready to serve Him yes. with love, compassion, with a smile. Uh -huh. Here comes the smile. Yeah. Amen. Man, if you're frowning, man, people are going to stay away from you. Mm -hmm. But if you smile, say, man, I want to know why she's smiling. I want to know why he's smiling, you know. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Well, come on, ask me. <laughs> because Jesus loves me. Because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Yes. Smile and hunger and thirst for more of Him. Amen. You know, we got some food over there. We're going to have fellowship after service. <laughs> and that food smells real good. Amen. So I'm ready for it. Amen. <laughs> That's a distraction right now. <laughs> but still, we got to thirst and hunger for more uh, of Him. Amen. When you're thirst and hunger for more of Him, you want to get in you. You want to yeah. get it in you. Amen. Hallelujah. When it gets in you, it's going to come out. Yeah. Hunger and thirst for Him and then grow where you are Amen. listen to this and listen careful grow where he puts you yes. is where he wants you we complain too much and gripe too much about where we are because we hear others talking about what they want you know and we hear what others we hear all these other things and we start saying wow this is not where i want to be just listen grow where he put uh, where he puts you where he plants you means you can mature, you can develop, you can produce, or you can improve. Yeah. Or you can bloom. When you bloom, you mature and you're growing for Him. Listen to this. Flowers, trees, cactus, plants, they all grow and bloom where God puts them. And you never hear, you don't, they don't complain, they don't brag, they don't compete. <laughs> they just bloom real nice. Yeah. Amen. And summertime, you know, springtime, summertime. Wherever you happen to go, you see flowers everywhere, blooming everywhere. And I've said this before, but you know, wherever that seed fell, it's going to grow. Yeah. I went and dug some cactuses out from the desert, brought them back home, and I'm going to plant them. And I still got them in a bucket. And guess what? They're still in a bucket, and it's blooming. Flowers. You see flowers on this cactus. I say, wow, it's not even in the ground. God has put things in you that are going to bloom. But you have to be full of Him. And you have yeah. to give yourself to Him. Amen. And you're going to mature and you're going to grow wherever you are. And appreciate and love where God places you. He says, okay, I'm instead of complaining, I'm just going to say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you hear uh, examples of other disciples, you know, where, where they went and what they did. These are great examples for us. You know, Jesus was in heaven and he agreed with the Father to come and be sacrificed for us. Yeah. Man, he could have just said, man, I'm blooming real good right here in heaven. I don't want to go down there. But still, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Father, he said, I'm doing, I'll do this for you. So we can do those things unto him. Amen. Amen. Also says Jeremiah uh, 8.10 in uh, B, B part, the, back, the back, uh, last part says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Put some joy on. You know, when you put joy on, you're going to smile more. <laughs> and it's good for you. Amen. Amen. 
The joy of the Lord is my strength. You need strength? Let there be more joy in you. Amen? Have the right attitude. Have a grateful attitude. Have a winning attitude. Amen? Don't let anyone or any circumstance take you out of your peace. <coughs> Listen to what I'm going to say, okay? You bring them into your peace. Yes. Many, many, many fail here. And I'm talking about believers too. Many fail here because they spend time... Excuse me. They don't spend time with him before they go out. Before anything, spend time with him before you go out. Amen. If you don't confess, if you don't spend time with him before you go out, the world is going to have you. It's going to chew you up and spit you out. That's you it. ain't no match for the world. You ain't no match to the enemy. That's it. You know, part time Christian, part time believer is no match to a full time devil. Full -time devil. Amen. So, spend time with him before you go out. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank I'm excited Lord. already. <laughs> Woo, praise, praise God. God. Spend time with him before you go out. It's hell out there without Jesus. If you don't know that yet, you need to get saved. <laughs> because it's hell out there without him. If you don't have him when you go out, you're lost. Amen. I told, I told the church this a few minutes ago. You know, you got to put... You can get dressed, you can get as pretty as you want to be. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a right attitude, if you don't have a smile on you, you know, you can forget about it. Okay? Come on. <laughs> and it's hell out there without Jesus. You got to put all Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, you're lost. Part time believers no match for full time devil mm -hmm. or no match for this, this world. Rage wins every time. Oh, or you can say flesh wins every all the time. Mm -hmm. The rage is anger, fury, temper, mm -hmm. irritation, and wrath. Mm -hmm. Amen? All the time. Because we give into it. Because yeah. we're still in the flesh. Yeah, yeah. If somebody cuts you off, somebody uh, greets you real nice, you know, mm -hmm. with that middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to want to chase them wherever. Why? Because your flesh is reacting to it. Yeah. Your emotions are somewhere else. Amen? The anger just... Rosa, mm. why you know? No, spend time with him before you Amen. go into the world. Get full of him before you go into the world, and you're gonna react different. You're gonna let let the love of God, the compassion of God, show through you. Yeah. Amen. Put a smile on. Let the love and compassion of God show flow yeah. through you. Amen. Yeah. The apostle Paul was in prison most of his life. Well-educated man, full of God. He was never mad, never sad, or unhappy. He was content. Content means he was satisfied. He was gratified. He was pleased. He was in prison, but the prison never got in him. Mm -hmm. And he, he didn't let the prison get in him. Amen. He was there for God. God used him mightily. Wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, praise God. We learned a lot of what he wrote. Amen. So, be happy. Be content. The body of Christ. The church. That's us. Not church, not denominations. You know, you pass a building out there and you say, oh, that's a church. It's a church building. Amen. Nobody ever told you. Now you know you are the church. Mm -hmm. We are the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Us, people, believers, we're the body of Christ. He's the head, we're the body. Amen. And what's he going to use? He's going to use his body. Amen. So prepare yourself. He wants to use yeah. you. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Make yourself available to him. Amen. Woo. God's body, the church, are believers who have confessed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, it's never too late. You can do that now. Uh, you can open your Bibles. I want to read it to you from different translations. But 1 Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 27 through 31. I already have it written here. So... You just follow along. First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 20, uh, 27 through 31. The NIV says this. Start off with the body of Christ. Mm. It says, now you are the body of Christ. Mm. Are you reading this? You, says you. That's me. You can take that you and scratch it and just put your name on there. You are the body of Christ. Each one of us is a part of it. Mm. You have a part in it. Yeah. So don't let nobody tell you you're nobody. I am a child of God. I have a part in this body. Amen. Yeah. 
and God has placed you in the church. God has placed in the church, first of all, uh, apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then uh, miracles, then gifts of healing and helping of guidance and other different uh, other kinds of tongues. Uh, all are apostles. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Not eagerly desiring the great gifts. Love, well, we're going to get into this in a few minutes, but love is indispensable. And yet, I love, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. Amen. And it goes into chapter 13. And chapter 13 goes like this. I know you read it before. It's called the love chapter or the way of love. And depending on what translation you use, the King James calls it the way of love. The New King James calls it the greatest spiritual gift. Amen. And the NIV calls it love is the greatest. Amen. But we read this before. It goes like this. It says, uh, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not rejoices with the truth. Amen. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. Amen. So put on love. Amen. Amen. Put on love and we say put on a smile. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. That is good. The message Bible says this in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 27 through 31 says, You are Christ's body. Yeah. That who you that's who you are. Mm -hmm. You have never forgotten this. Only as you accept your part of that body does your part mean anything. You have to accept it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just like you have to accept mm -hmm. Christ. As your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Accept your part in the body. Mm -hmm. That's where God placing you. Mm -hmm. And be happy where He places you. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> You're familiar with some of the parts God has given to His church. Mm -hmm. God has given, uh, which is His body, apostles, prophets, teachers, miracle workers, healers, mm -hmm. helpers, organizers, those who pray in tongues. Christ's church is a complete body. He talks about the physical body. You know, this physical body has many parts. Mm -hmm. But they all function in unity. Yeah. They all function together. You don't see any parts fighting against each other. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. We need to, as a body of Christ, come together yeah. and work together as one. Amen? Woo! Come on now. It's not all apostles, not all prophets, not all miracle workers, not all healers, and not all praying tongues, uh, not all interpret of tongues. And yet some of you are still you keep competing for so-called important parts but now i want to lay out a far better way and it goes into chapter 13 when he talks about the way of love amen so praise god so don't compare don't compete but complete one another and that's what we're here for we assembled ourselves together so that we can complete one another encourage one another help one another pray for each other those are the things that we do as we assemble ourselves together. It says, don't neglect assembling yourselves together. Amen? Ooh, come on. <laughs> Big or small, it doesn't matter what it is. Do your part faithfully with passion, with Amen. gratitude unto Him. Whatever it may be, you know, we talk about the physical body. You could be a little toe. And you know, I'm always walking on you, but I couldn't walk right if that little toe wasn't functioning right. If you didn't have toes, you couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, so every part is vital. Yes, it is. So see yourself. We, we don't compare about which is big and which is small. Just do big or small. Do it under Him. Amen. Amen. Every part. Not competing and not fighting against each other, but in unity. The yes. word team, there's no I in the word team. Mm -hmm. Together we all achieve more. Mm -hmm. But there is an I in unity. Mm -hmm. When we work in unity, that's where we come in. You know, we all work in unity. We all serve in unity. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Big or small, doesn't matter. Do your part faithfully with passion, with gratitude unto Him. Colossians 3, 20, excuse me, Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Contemporary English version says this. 
Do your work willingly as though you were serving the Lord himself. Whatever it is you do. <laughs> if you're in the flesh, you're going to say, nobody cares. Nobody's here. Nobody's watching. Nobody's keeping records. So why should I care? That's the flesh talking. When you do it under him, yeah. and the flesh tries to cut in, when the enemy tries to put thoughts in your head about you being by yourself and nobody cares, you just say, I'm doing this under the God, under my Lord. Yeah. He's going to be here. He's watching me. He's going to reward me. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I'm doing this under you. And we're going to settle this right now. Yeah. And you tell them bad thoughts to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So, serving the Lord himself and not just for your earthly, uh, earthly uh, master. In fact, the Lord is the one you are really serving. You uh, And you know he will reward you. This is what the word of God says. He's, going, he's not going to forget about you. He's going to reward you. Amen. So, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God uh, called you, said to you, gifted to you. Do your best to honor him. Again, back, back to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 18 through, excuse me, 12 through 18. Let me read it to you from the uh, contemporary English version. It says, one body, many parts. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ has many different parts, just as any other body does. Some of us, some of us are Jews, some of us are Gentiles, some of us are slaves, and others are free. But God's spiritual baptism, each God, God's spirit, God's spirit baptized each of us and made us part of his body of Christ. Now we each drink from that same spirit. Our bodies don't uh, have just one part. They have many parts. Suppose the foot says, I'm not a hand. And so I'm not part of the body. Wouldn't your foot still belong to the body? Yeah. Or suppose your ear says, I'm not an eye. So I'm not part of the body. Wouldn't your ears still belong to the body? If your bodies were only one eye, you couldn't hear a thing. And if you were only an ear, you couldn't smell the thing. But God has put all parts of our bodies together the way he decided best. Amen. So <laughs> love yourself, receive yourself, because God put you just the way he wanted to. Amen. So praise God. When you think that way, the enemy is not going to mess up you mind you know thinking about well i could have been this i could have been that no just be what god made yes. you to be he yeah. made you an original he didn't make you a copy you're an original for him yeah amen be an original for him you don't have to copy anything or anyone praise god grow where god sets you bloom where you are planted mm. this is where he's got us now so we're going to bloom where we are amen wherever you happen to be if you start playing with that the enemy is going to have hold of that and he's going to use distractions he's going to use uh people he's going to use all kinds of things to come against you so i say thank you lord for my job thank you for my career thank you for whatever but god is involved amen get him involved too many people uh live a discouraged and negative life because they don't like where they are and guess what they're going to complain about it and they don't you're going to hear all this all the time they don't like their jobs they don't like their careers and they retire from job and careers they hate mm. and you hear it you know when people come and you hear people talk they say things yeah and you can find out where they're located mm. amen they're not happy they're griping they complain mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i say you know it's a good time for you to say something and say i need to pray for you mm -hmm. can i pray for you and then ask them first <laughs> yeah. or even if you don't just you still you can pray for them they don't like where they are in life. They're not where they want to be. Always complaining, always mm. uh, uh, competing, and always griping. Mm. You know, if you have a job, there's somebody there, mm -hmm. they're going to compete with you. Oh, yeah. When you got a friend, you know, this is what I do. What do you do? You know? <coughs> always fighting, being negative, complaining against all things. Always wanting to be somewhere else yeah. or doing something, something else. else. Because so and so told you what they do, now you want to do what they do. <laughs> you know, always, 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 never satisfied. And you ain't never going to be satisfied until you have Jesus in your heart. 
to have, to you have Jesus in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, come on. Put a smile back on your face. Give your frown a break. <laughs> smile makes you a better witness. Yes. Listen to this. Smile attracts people. And people want to be around you. It says smile attracts. People want to be around you. Yes. Frowns distract. People don't want to be around you. <laughs> you. You don't have to say a word. All you have to do is frown and people are just going to yeah. walk away. Now, if you say some negative things, they're still going to walk away. <laughs> but a frown is good enough. I say, oh, hey, boy. I don't want to get close. Mm -hmm. You see a smile, it just attracts. Mm -hmm. Amen. Smile shows his love and his compassion. Yeah, yeah. People never said anything, but they saw a smile. And they walk up to that person and say, you know, <laughs> it's your smile that attracted me. Yeah. What is it about your smile? Uh -huh. The love and compassion of God showing through you. Yeah. Amen. Showing through you. Not only that, but let the love and compassion <coughs> of Jesus see through your eyes. Mm -hmm. Instead of seeing all the negative things oh and all the other things, mm -hmm. you see love and compassion. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, yeah. he sacrificed his son. That's it. That person, that homeless person, that person that you think is not worth anything. Yeah. Christ died for them too. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, they were good enough for Jesus to die for. Mm -hmm. I need to reach them. Amen. I need I need I need to be there. Yeah. Believers should smile the best. Are you a believer? You yeah. should be smiling. Or you letting the yeah. worlds and cares of this problem of this world bring you down. Mm -hmm. What he tells us to do, cast all cares on him. Yeah. So why are you still holding them? Mm -hmm. You know, why are you still holding to the past when he says, yeah. give it all to me? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Let it go. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let the cares and problems of the world hold you back. You know, give it to Him and press on and do yeah. what He's called us to do and complete what He wants us to do. Amen? Mm -hmm. Believers should be the happiest people on earth. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, you know, because I'm comparing with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Compare with somebody else and you'll never be satisfied. And you'll never be good enough. But you know, you, you satisfy Him, you love Him, and you're going to be good enough. Yeah. Amen. And see yourself the way He sees you. Amen. Not the way people are, you know. Mm -hmm. And be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. That's it. Because you'll never please them, you know. They're going to be jealous, even, even if you was doing right. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to give you a bad answer anyway. Oh, God. And they're going to hate you anyway because they want to be saved, but they don't want to make a commitment yet. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know, tomorrow's not promised. That's it. How many? That's can so you imagine true. how many people in hell? Mm. Because they never took the time to say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Jesus, mm -hmm. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. I said, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, put it off, put it off, you know. Mm -hmm. And it never comes. That's it. Be, uh, be good, be kind, even if they are not good and not too kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see this on a daily basis. Yeah. You see this at home, you see this uh, uh, at work, you see it anywhere you go. People cutting each other off, you know. Mm. Uh, it's like, be grateful where you're living, even if it's not where you want to be. Yeah. For now, I'm going to have peace about this because yeah. this is what God wants me. Yeah. And I'm going to do my best for you, Lord, right here. Yeah. And I'm going to reach and do God's best wherever he has me. Mm. You need to accept this. Amen. Yeah. Nothing in life happens to us, but it happens for us. Mm -hmm. Keep a right attitude. Keep a smiling attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but then I may not like this, but I know I'm here in your divine plan. Mm -hmm. This is where you have me. This is where you want me. And I'm going to grow from here. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be happy. It may not feel good. But it allows me to grow, it allows me to mature, it allows me to bloom and be in all God created me to be. Yes. I'm maturing, I'm growing, and I'm blooming regardless. You see yeah. cactus, you see flowers, you see things growing. I've seen cactus growing on trees. I've seen cactus mm -hmm. and plants growing on a crack. Mm -hmm. How did it happen? Seed, everything's in the seed. I think it was last week we talked about an apple tree 
You see an apple seed, you don't see a tree in there. And you don't see uh, lots of uh, uh, apples in there. But you sow it in the ground, put it where God wants prepared it for, and it's going to grow. Yeah. And it's going to mature. Yes, and it's yeah. gonna, a tree is going to grow. Mm -hmm. And lots of fruits is going to come from mm -hmm. it. That's what he wants us to do. He, he wants us to grow in him and have fruit. Amen. Have fruit and go and bloom for him. We tend to fight against everything that doesn't go our way. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Everything's going to be fine as long as you're going your way. But when things ain't going your way, you're not so happy. <laughs> We're always trying to get somewhere else to be happy. Mm -hmm. Grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Grow where you are. Sow a seed of kindness. Sow a seed of a smile. Mm -hmm. Sow a seed of joy. Sow a seed of happiness. Mm -hmm. Brighten up. Make somebody's day better. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah. You can do this. If you know, you can do this. I say, wow. You know, this person is down and out. And I go by and just say, you know, you're nobody. You're no good. Mm -hmm. Or just kick them, you know. No. No. Brighten up their day. Say, God loves you. Mm -hmm. God told me to tell you that he loves you. Jesus. Man, they, they might have been ready to blow their brains out. See, mm -hmm. if I don't hear from you, Lord, this is the last of me. No. And he used you to come and deliver a delivering, uh, delivering a message to him, you know. That God says, let him know I love him. Amen. And he does. <laughs> We're blessing going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yeah. We're blessed by the best. And we're blessed to be a blessing. You, get, you, you need to write that somewhere where you see it on a daily basis. We are blessed to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. He don't just bless you to spoil you. No, no. He blesses you so that you can be a blessing. He made us be givers and not just takers. Some of us take, take, take all the time. But we never give. We need to learn how to give. Amen. It's not just finances. We got so many things we can give. We can give a smile. We can be kind. Amen. Many things we can give of ourselves. You know, let me help you. Let me give you a hand. You know, let me give you a kind word. You know, mm -hmm. these things, many, many things yeah. that you can give before the finance and the financial thing. But many are already against. Well, all he wants us to do is give. You know, of finances. No, that's not all. God's be God's best where you are now, on the way of where you're going for him. He's got you on a mission, going somewhere to happen for for somebody. Mm -hmm. or for some but still be the best you can be yes. you know we can be we, we try to be the best we can for the world uh -huh. but if we, when it comes to, to Christ when it comes to God and you know we just give him second best sometimes not even that oh, good boy. we just give him whatever mm -hmm. you know remember Jesus our greatest example mm -hmm. he gave up heaven to come and be sacrificed on a daily basis, he had to fight against this. You know, do I really want to do this? People being ugly, being rude to him, kicking him out, saying things to him, punching him, spitting on him, whooping on him, you know. I say, do I really want to do this? If you don't stay strong in him, you're not going to make it. Put on a smile on your face. Put a pep on your step. Stay straight up for Jesus. Amen. Stay stirred up for Jesus. That's what the Word of God tells us to do. Amen. Stay stirred up. Yeah. If you don't stay stirred up, if you don't keep that fire going, mm -hmm. nobody's going to do it for you. That's it. Matter of fact, they're going to want to put it out. Mm -hmm. And you're crazy about God. You know, hey, it's time, time for you to take a break. You know? <laughs> Won't you leave? You know, just go out with us one time, you know. Mm -hmm. just, just, just cool off, you know. No. How many times Jesus took a break? He didn't mm -hmm. take no break. <laughs> Father, I need, I, need, I need your strength. Father, I need you. We can do the same thing. Lord, I need you. The world's going to pull on you. Friends are going to pull on you. People are going to pull on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're going to want your time. Hey, man, I've got to go pray. No. <laughs> it's time for you to be with your worldly friends or time to be with these distractions that are coming against you. Mm -hmm. No, stop it. Yeah. 
have a pep rally with Jesus on a daily basis before you go into the world. <laughs> Remember the pep rallies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, let me see what I wrote about pep rally. It says, pep rally is an event before uh, before a school <coughs> sports uh, event that is meant to get students and fans excited and uh, encourage yeah. the team to win. You will have some pep rallies with him, you know. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, when you have a pep rally with him, I'm, I'm going to leave a pep rally with him looking for some devils. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave him looking for some giants to go tackle, you know, mm -hmm. because there's giants waiting on you. Mm -hmm. But when they see you come and say, uh oh, we can, they can see it in you. You got a smile and you got Jesus all over you. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to run, they're going to turn and run from you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They know who you've been with. They know when you've been in the world. <laughs> They're going to know when you've been with Jesus. Jesus' team never loses. You're a winning team. Remember the word team. Together, everyone achieves more. Yes. Amen. I told you a few minutes ago, there's no I in the word team. But there's an I in the word unity. Mm -hmm. Being loving even when they are unlovable. Mm -hmm. You've got to do this. You can't do it without Jesus. That's it. Amen. People are going cuss you out, tell you ugly things, say things, ugly things, and they're just going to be ugly. Mm -hmm. They don't have Christ. you got to remember this love and compassion because they're going to react the way they don't have Christ. Yeah. They're just going to react mean and ugly. <laughs> I know none of you have been around people like this. <laughs> but I have. Being good even when they're not good. Be kind even when they're rude. Be grateful where you are, even if it's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm going to do my best here. Yeah. Just make that, you know, <laughs> little Martha is little. May not have all the big city has, but guess what? You go to big city and there's more unsaved people. There's more people. There's more rude people. Mm -hmm. And there's more distractions for you. Yeah. So thank you, Lord, for Martha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, the greatest example, left heaven, a perfect place to come here. Yeah. We have nothing to complain about. That's it. You think you got something to complain about? Think about what Jesus done mm -hmm. or did. <laughs> we have an attitude, have an attitude of gratitude. Thank Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm available. Yeah. I'll do this unto you, and I'm going to do my best for you. Mm -hmm. You can say this. You know, it's personal. You know, being a Christian, being a believer is, is having a relationship with your Heavenly Father. And that's what you want to do. Amen. That's all. Have a relationship. We can talk to Him. All about you. And He still loves you. Nothing in life just happens to us. It happens for us. Keep the right attitude. Lord will guide and provide. Amen. He's going to bless Bless, bless. So keep the blessings coming, amen. First Peter 5 7, cast all cares on him. Give him all your trash. <laughs> I gave him all my trash. I don't want it back. <laughs> Praise God. That person is hard to get along with. He's not happening to you. He's, not, he's happening for you. God is using them to grow you up. He's developing your character. I'm growing spiritually. Listen, he wants us to grow, mature spiritually. Yes, yes. He don't want us to say uh, baby Christians That's all it. our lives. That's it. Amen. We, we won't be able to handle anything. Yeah, that's right. Amen. He wants us to grow and know what the Word of God says so you can use the Word. Mm -hmm. When you use the Word, you're using His authority. Yeah. Use His authority. You can do it. Don't just say, well, the only pastor can do it. Or only so-and-so or sister so-and-so know it all. Sister so-and-so know it all. She knows, she knows all about this, you know. No, you know it all too. Yeah. Study and show yourself approved. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Woo. Get out of the flesh and get in the spirit. Grow, mature, and go for Him. Learning to be Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Imitating Him daily in life. And, uh, <clears throat> if you open your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2, I mean 1 and 2. <clears throat> Ephesians 
Ephesians, God's, God's electric company. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. You follow along in your King James or whatever translation you have. But uh, the Amplified says, Therefore, be imitators of God. You know, uh, too many people say, Well, I'm this way, this is the way God made me, so you're going to have to accept me this way. God didn't make you that way. No, he didn't. And you need to know Christ mm -hmm. so that you can be an imitator of Christ. Yes. Be an imitator of God. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, you know, you think you have, you have some kind of form of religion, in you, but you're not being Christ-like. Mm -hmm. If you are born again, you're going to be imitators yes. of God. Amen. And not just you. Well, this is the way I am. you got to receive me this way. Mm -hmm. No. Get saved yeah. and receive Christ and be Christ-like. Amen. Amen. There it says, therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. Yeah. In no way in the Bible does it show you that Jesus did anything bad. That's right. So we're going to imitate him and do the right things, not the bad things. He's our greatest example. Yes, he is. As we, as well beloved children, imitate their fathers. Yeah. And walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another as Christ loved us and gave himself <coughs> up for us. A slain offering. Yeah. And sacrifice of God. For you. So that it became a sweet fragrance. Amen. Mm -hmm. So imitate him. Copy him. Mm -hmm. Be like him. Bible says you can do some things through Christ. All things. <laughs> I mean heads come up Amen. quick. You can do all, all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. So don't cut yourself short. That's it. Amen. Don't cut yourself short. He says, we can do all things through Him. Lord, I need your strength. He strengthens Amen. us. We can do it. Because the Word of God says we can Amen. do it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, be imitators of God. Amen. Walking in love. Walking in agape love. Mm -hmm. That's unconditional love. Amen. Amen. Walking in His unconditional love. We just don't love people because of certain conditions, you know. Mm -hmm. Unconditionally loving people. Amen. Believers <clears throat> walk in this agape love. When you walk in agape love, you can have a big smile. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Agape love is selfless, sacrificially, un unconditional love. It is the highest of all types of love in the Bible. Amen. Amen. <laughs> In 1 John 4 and 8 says in the New King James, He who does not love does not know God. For God is love. love. Mm -hmm. If you don't love, don't say, well, because it is, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't love him because it is. Mm -hmm. Well, that's conditional. Yeah, yeah. You got to be unconditional. unconditional. Look all they did to Jesus. Yeah. And he still loved him. How do you know he loved him? Because when they sacrificed him mm -hmm. at the cross, before he gave himself to the Father, yeah. he says, Father, forgive them. Yeah. Then you say, hold this against them. You know, I, I'm not going to forgive them. No, he says, forgive them. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how much he loved them. Amen. Yes, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten yeah. Son, yeah. that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We're That's talking it. about agape love here. Yeah. God is sacrificing his only Son. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, this is... God, praise God. Yeah. God uses difficult people like sandpaper to rub off the rough <laughs> off you. <laughs> you, can write, you can write that down. God uses difficult people like sandpaper to rub the rough off of you. Mm. Difficult means hard, tough, challenging, demanding, trying. We meet a lot of these people on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't know about you. Maybe, maybe you're perfect now. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Next time you see one of these difficult persons, instead of getting all upset and stressed out, just smile big and say this. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done to me. Then you watch them pass out. <laughs> God was, if God was to remove everything from your life you don't like, you would not be prepared for what's ahead in life or what he has in store. 
God will grow and go for him. Yeah. Smile, smile, smile. Amen. Amen. And remember this. We're still under construction. Yes. He's not finished with me yet. That's it. Amen. <laughs> he's still working on us. And he's not finished with us. And that's a good thing. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. He's still perfecting us. Yes, he is. Amen. On a daily basis. When things come our way, we don't like it. When things don't come our way, we don't like it. It's still being negative and complaining our attitude should be Lord I may not like this mm -hmm. but I know that I am here yeah. in your divine plan mm -hmm. Lord I'm doing this unto mm -hmm. you yeah amen and we just put ourselves aside and yeah. get off the throne and mm -hmm. put him on the throne amen amen that's what we need to do on a daily basis yeah, yeah. or as often as we need to and yes. not only that but renewing your mind to the word of God right right because it's a negative world. Mm -hmm. And you hear negative things, you see negative things. And if yeah. you don't renew your mind to the things of God, you're going to conform to, the, to right. those things. You're going to fall. Mm -hmm. You see things, you hear things, and you think negative things. Yeah. But don't give birth to them. Don't speak them out. Don't okay. shoot them. You know, your word gun sometimes is too fast, too <laughs> rapid, you know. You just got to shoot it out, you know. <laughs> You just gotta let it out. No. Say, Whoop. You gotta put a guard on there and uh, say, uh, "Yeah, uh, yeah." I used to, and I am better now. <laughs> You're still, <laughs> still working with me, but uh, amen. amen. Well, praise God. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Yes. I hope you learned something from this. You know, um, uh, last example I use is uh, Paul and Silas. Mm. You know, Paul and Silas doing God's work and yet they still they put them in a dungeon deep down as low as can go yeah and I'm sure it was stinky down there mm. it was smelly down there and say Lord we're doing these things for you <coughs> and look where we end up mm -hmm. and instead of complaining they started praising <coughs> God yeah and guess what God showed up mm -hmm. Amen. and set them free Amen. he can do the same for you regardless of what things you're going through. Yes. Amen. He can set you free, but it's time for you to say, Amen. Lord, I need you. Mm -hmm. I need your strength. Help me. And you want you will. So praise God. So in closing, Amen. I just want to say Lord. open your hearts and let God in. Amen. And smile, smile, smile. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Help us. Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you never accepted Christ, now's the time, you know. We won't close. We'll just give you an opportunity mm -hmm. to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen? Mm -hmm. And He will. But you have to ask Him. And you have to yes. receive Him. Yes. Ask your Lord and Savior. Amen? Yes. And uh, start changing. Make yes. those changes. Amen? Praise God. If you have yes. sickness in your body and you, want, you need a touch of healing, well, you know, the Bible says, by Jesus stripes you were healed. healed. So receive your healing, amen? amen. All these malfunctions in your body say, I, I don't receive that. My body is temporary, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't receive these malfunctions. Mm -hmm. I command sickness, your spirit of infirmity, we cast you out. We yes. command you to go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. If you have something the doctor says you have, you have cancer, you have arthritis, whatever it is. Arthritis, you have a name. We yes. cancel your assignment on those bodies amen. right now in Jesus' name. Cancers, cancel your assignments against them. And whatever it is, yes. not working right. We call healing because by Jesus stripes, we are healed. Jesus paid the price. Amen. So we won't have to uh, go through it. That's it. So praise God. Thank you, Father. That by Jesus stripes, these people that are within my voice, listen, yes. are healed, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's time to give. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So there we go. It's on the screen right there. Go to our, our go for you watching, listening. Just go to our. Our website, uh, the, what is it? Uh, NBCBigBand.com and hit the donate button if you're mailing it. PO Box, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Or Cash App. Or Cash App. Amen. So, praise God. God loves you. We love you. And you have a blessed day today. And don't forget, smile big. Amen. Praise God.